The 6.5 is on the road here at the HP Garage in Palo Alto, California, literally the birthplace of Silicon Valley. The brass plate on the front of the home says it. Dan, this is great. We're here for HP Imagine 2024, and we're in where Silicon Valley started. Well, we talk about the experience economy and experiences. This is an experience, Pat. You know, we like to think uh, we either are hanging around the coolest technology companies and founders on the planet, but when you Think about that. You've got to look back and think about companies like Hewlett Packard in its early days. That this was where it happened, literally right here. Yeah, it's great stuff. The announcements have been great at HP Imagine 2024. Yeah. We've seen consumer solutions. We've also seen commercial solutions. And yeah. I think it's time we talk yeah. commercial. Yeah. So, and with us, we have back from uh, a previous 6.5 appearance. Wyante, great to see you. Welcome back to the 6.5. Congratulations on all the announcements. Thank you for having me here again. <laughs> well, in a very special place. Right? It really is. I mean, it sort of makes my, uh, you know, it just makes my heart skip a bit, you know, as sort of, you know, I, I don't know, I call myself a techno-optimist. And like just being here, you can just kind of feel it, you know? Yeah. Um, and speaking of feeling it, I mean, and there's a lot of feeling it going on around AI PC right now. You know, we know there's this big wave and there's debates about when are people going to start buying and how fast does it get deployed? But you're at the center of it and you're working on the commercial side with the businesses, with the enterprises. I'd love to kind of get your take on, you know, the early feel on these customers you're working with. What are their challenges? What are their pain points? And what are they excited about mm -hmm. as you've started this rollout process? So, so let me tell you one thing that I think I shared in the previous uh, time that we talk. I do have three beliefs, and I'm going to tell you on the beliefs what I have learned. The first belief is that AI is going to change the way we work. You know, and if we look at uh, the latest work relationship index, customer has told us that they believe, you know, like 68% of the knowledge workers believe AI is going to make their work more fun. Okay, right. so that is like one thing they are, the customers are waiting for it. Enterprises and IT managers are now testing. They want to test and get the return. So that is the first belief. The second belief is going to be hybrid. This meaning AI is going to have, there are many workloads that are better on the cloud, others on the PC. And this is why like companies like Adobe are starting to develop features, but it's early stages. So the learning is it takes a while for software companies to deploy, you know, AI workflow for the PC, but this is happening. And the third thing, AI is a journey. So it's not everybody's jumping in. You need to, it's a journey of change. So that is what is happening. People are learning. That right. is the first thing to start adapting to it. Yeah, there's so many things going on in the enterprise here and it, it acts pretty different from the consumer market and different devices, different, I mean, you have, uh, in the consumer market, you have users, a person who buys something. In commercial, you have the people who buy it and then you have the people who use it, right? And you've got people maintaining it and making sure that it's secure. Their, their jobs depend on this. Uh, I'm super excited about the uh, work index uh, with AI and what came out. It was actually higher than I, I would have thought. Uh, and, and I think that's a, a, a plus. And then you connect that, and in the enterprise world, commercial world, it is about solving known pain points. Um, then you have a winner, right? I'm curious, what are some of the things, some of the innovations of products that you're putting out there that are helping to solve those pain points with AI? So, so first, let me tell you like how we are approaching before defining the product, how we are approaching, you know, like the, the look for what a product, and let me tell you, you no know, product, a solution should be. Like a in philosophy the, in a way? Exactly. Okay. A little bit like the philosophy and how we work. First, one of the things like uh, we, we have always been very customer obsessed, but in this era of AI, understanding each of you, how you work is very personal. Is your jobs to be done, how you get ready for the meeting, yeah. how you read documents, how you want to be uh, like in, in, a, in a Zoom meeting, your presence is very personal. So what we have done is done a very deep analysis of the use cases. Right. So what are the jobs that every single persona that we call has to do during the, the day? And then we look at it and we say, what are the things that HP could do with AI and an OEI tools in order to make the day more meaningful? We believe, as I told you, AI is going to remove tedious tasks, but it's also going to allow, you, allow the customers and us to do things we couldn't do before. Right. You know? mm -hmm. So like uh, in the next meeting, hopefully I will be here speaking in Spanish, you know, like <laughs> the, which will be much better, and you will have live translation. Now you have it in the PC. Right. And by the way, if we do it locally, like uh, the information that you and I share, 
We'll stay local if you yeah. want, unless we want to take in life. So that's a little bit the philosophy. But we're launching many new products. So. Yeah, I love, I love that. And I think it opens the world because we do have so many languages, so many cultures. I mean, even just English, you know, exactly. when you deal between <laughs> us with English speakers, well, speakers from English. England, from South Africa, from yeah. Australia. I mean, there's dialect issues there, but then you've got, you know, and I'm always impressed, by the way, you, you say it wouldn't, wouldn't be great. You're, it's great. You sound great. So, but like, that's just one example, but just how much and how quickly and how meaningfully we can gain access. And you said another key word, which is secure and private. And, yes. you know, we've talked to other execs on your team, like Alex Cho, and he also doubled it down on that exact topic. And I think that's a big part of what makes the AI PC so, so important is being able to do it local and have your stuff on your machine and have it protected. Companies owned data is the most important, not that it's not what's open. So let me ask you this. Everybody likes to have a moment on our show to talk about what they've announced. Uh, we're here at HP Imagine. From a commercial standpoint, what did you announce today? So we have like, <laughs> a, as I told you, it's a journey, a journey of constant innovation, and we're going to be launching products and solutions over like the next month. So what we have announced, we have the new AMD HP Elite Book uh, X. This product, let me tell you, starting with the customer, we're targeting it to the what we call the technical expert, our consultants, right. analysts, people that manage a lot of data. Mm. And they are like, sometimes they had to decide, do I go out for a workstation? Well, it's too heavy. Now you have the highest performance in the market. So we are announcing the 55 tops MPU in this product. Mm. It is the highest performance, but not only this, it has the highest speed memory. So when thinking about those users that they have to do many things, create me teams create content present, they are going to have a partner now, like with the new product. They are going to be, the partner is going to help them, you know, extract insight quickly. It's going to help them edit videos quickly. So that's on the performance. But that's the first, not like P that I say. The second is going to be on the personalization. These devices have a new uh, software that is called HPI Companion that will allow you to personalize how you work. You know, like event, you can say through voice, you can change the settings, you know, like like a volume up, you know, so that is the second and third, as you were saying, is we feel like this uh, product is going to be the one that will protect more people, not only from the sense of attacks, you know, like that right. now uh, there are AI attacks, but also because this device is like ha following all the HP sustainability values that we have had, so it's going to protect the, ch the, the world too. So like the three piece that like this product uniquely has, but that's only from the PC side. But also we're launching uh, monitors, you know, like the displays, the Series 5, 8 monitors. One of the things that I really love about them is that they are now like, uh, you want to remove clutter, you know, from your sure. desk. So with one only USB cable, you can power, cha cha charge and connect, you know, three devices, you know, like uh, only one cable. And also they are becoming intelligent, the displays too. So they have noise cancellation, you know, to avoid noise around us. And also they are going to be able to detect when you're close in order to decide like to turn off the lighting of the PC and save energy when you move out and like when you get closer to start the system. No, that's great. Um, so we've heard a little bit about uh, kind of the philosophy of how you want to put AI in your PCs. Uh, talked a little bit specifically about uh, what you uh, announced here. We talked also about, you know, what you've learned with your customers uh, as well. We've been asking this last question to all the guests, so we, we have to ask you. Uh, there's a lot of noise in the AI PC market, uh, a lot of discussions being had. There, there's four primary vendors, including you, uh, <laughs> that, that do most PCs primary. on the planet. Uh, how are you distinctive and different from the competitors? I'm going to tell you for that is very easy that everyone remembers four P's. Okay. One is performance to run local AI. Okay, what I told you before, 55 tops is one thing I like the high speed memory performance. Second is we believe our solution, you can personalize more for the way you work, like with the HPI companion, second P. Third, protection. The, the new devices is the world most secure AI PC next gen IPC in the planet, okay? And four, we have the broadest portfolio of products from the PC to the display to the room that no one has. So four P's, easy to remember. I love that. I was wondering what those were gonna be, and now we know. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, absolutely. And I think, you know, as we see this massive rollout and this deployment, and this is gonna happen, and as more apps and more capabilities come, I think the demand is gonna start to skyrocket. 
and we'll learn. And, and as analysts, you know, we have to keep a critical eye. But what we're seeing are some very impressive. And by the way, just playing with them here today. It's been very fun. And I'm very impressed, continue to be by the innovation that HP has put out. And I know, Pat, you and I have shared a similar sentiment there. Yeah. So, Wayante, we really appreciate you joining us here on the 6.5, coming all the way out here to the HP garage where it all <laughs> began to talk about the beginning of this next wave. Exactly. Which is the AI PC. Yeah which was not invented in a garage, <laughs> in very beautiful facilities in here in Palo Alto, but it sticks with us, remembering where it all began. Thanks for joining us. Let's do it again thank soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. See Appreciate you soon again. That. Thank you. And thank you so much for sitting down with us or standing up, however you're watching this. We appreciate all of you as part of our 6.5 community. We're here at HP Imagine 2024 in Palo Alto. We're in the HP garage, in case you didn't listen to the whole thing and hear us talk about it before. Subscribe, join us, be part of our community. We appreciate you, but we got to go. We'll see you later.